This video is brought to you by Hoodbeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. Hoodbeast.com. We are beast. With the second pick in the 2007 NBA draft, the Seattle Supersonics select Kevin Durant from the University of Texas. With the fourth pick in the 2008 NBA draft, the Seattle Supersonics select Russell Westbrook from UCLA. So after 41 years of basketball in Seattle, the Sonics are packing up the trucks and heading to Oklahoma City. So what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Legendary EA, back here with some more heat. And as you guys see from the title, we are going to be doing a Seattle Supersonics expansion team, my league. So first off, shout out to King of the fourth quarter and six rings of steel. Uh, I, I have noticed that they have been doing expansion teams, but I also wanted uh, to also do one as well. Since the NBA draft has concluded, uh, I have my Lakers, my GM, uh, which I will be doing for one more season. But I did want to go ahead and start this because I, I really want to make things a little bit more interesting. So we are using Embrace the Pacers roster. I actually made a roster, but I really wanted to, to do mine with an expansion team. I might use one of my other rosters for another time. But shout out to Embrace the Pace. The only problem with this series is that we're pretty much going to be one year behind. So in this one, the Warriors never won the championship, but I'm pretty sure that they still are going to. And we are one year behind. It's, it's going to say 2016. Well, we are pretty much in 2017, but that really shouldn't really be a problem. Like who really pays attention? to the dates like that but anyways if you guys enjoy this series make sure you go ahead and smash that like button let's get 300 likes for the next episode i know that you guys can do i think i think that this is going to be an extremely fun series and seattle does need basketball back i'm not i'm not gonna lie i do feel sorry for all the seattle fans losing their franchise but anyways let's get right into the settings i did see some of the settings from king of the fourth uh, but for right now, we're going to add two more expansion teams. Uh, so obviously, Seattle is going to be a Western team. Uh, so let's add an Eastern team. And, and the Eastern team can be the Vancouver Ravens. Who really cares like that? I'm going to go ahead and download a Supersonics team. And then with that, and then with that, I'm going to go ahead and pretty much customize everything else. So let's just go ahead and just find a base one and then we can change its uniforms but like i said if you guys enjoyed this series make sure to go ahead and leave a like on the video and subscribe we're gonna be doing a lot more things until nba 2k18 comes out and i think i'm just gonna go ahead and rock with one of these uniforms um let's go with this one this one isn't all that bad uh i am gonna go ahead and change some of the things about it but until then, let's just rock with this one. It's not that big of a deal for right now. Uh, let me know any suggestions. At the end of every single episode, I will be leaving a straw poll. And you guys should vote in the comment section below as to what we should do with the team. I do want to keep this realistic. My Lakers, my GM was somewhat realistic. We actually did a really, really good job with that. And that actually surprised me. But now that I know that we are capable of doing it, let's see if we can do it with this series as well. Realistic trades, nothing too crazy. Um... Uh, as far as the protected players go, I'm, at, I'm only going to have them protect seven players. Uh, nothing more than that. I'm not going to help them. So so if somebody like Josh Hart gets left off the Lakers since they just drafted him in the second round, I'm still, I'm still going to be able to pick him up. Uh, I'm not going to go eight man uh, just because I don't want to start it with like a dirty ass roster. So let's go ahead. We're adding the Vancouver Ravens and the Seattle Supersonics. Okay. And as far as my settings go, I'm going to be playing six minute quarters, normalize it. Uh, all right. The sim can still be 12, uh, norm normalize the minutes, but not the stats, at least for right now. Uh, we, we might change it on later. Uh, I'm going to keep it to seven. I'm going to keep it to seven. Cause I, I do want to have a chance at getting some of these younger prospects. So we're going to go at seven. Uh, and yeah, shout out to, to King of the fourth. Once again, I did see him do some of these settings and I really like the way that his actually turned out. So, yo, shout out to him. I'm turning trade approval on because I don't want any blockbuster trades to really go down. I really don't want that to happen. The trade frequency, I'm, I'm going to put that at about, let's put it at like 22. It doesn't need to be all that crazy. Injuries are turned on. Team chemistry. I'm going to turn the, the, the regression rate down. And the progression rate's like a 54, nothing, nothing too much. And this one, I, I never really knew what this thing did, but it pretty much adjusts. Like, example, 
uh like somebody like Melo always chooses financial security so what are the odds of him joining for like a discount not really that high <laughs> but yeah that's just a that's just a quick little example but that's pretty much what what it does it pretty much puts every single player's ambitions there uh we're gonna be playing on on hall of fame trade negotiations let's turn that up to like a to like a 70 uh contract negotiation yeah most of the time they are gonna resign uh let's see oh yeah let's turn in training effects on regression turn it down right there all right cpu and user injuries all right let's turn them down to like 40 let's turn down to 45 actually no let's turn down to 40 because players get injured a lot in 2k and that's all of our settings so i did go ahead and select all of the teams other than the ravens i just want to pretty much make sure that none of these teams do something crazy and don't protect any of their seven players so let me know if you guys are rocking with this idea but yo i really thought that it was important for me to save some of these guys we did go ahead and we did go ahead and actually change the logo but yo this is the lineup uh i'm gonna make sure that all these teams protect their assets uh because it, it just makes the most sense let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below i just want to make sure like look like look at this lori markkinen they would they don't even want Dwayne wade like that really don't want roman lopez like that either but they're gonna they're gonna protect those guys and probably cristiano felicio so let's make sure that he's protected as well the Cavalier, it should be obvious. Yeah, I, I think it is. Yeah, it's, it, it's definitely obvious. And then let's make sure they protect all of their guys. Okay. It's Tatum. Tatum's good too. All right, but I'll be back in one second. But for right now, let me just make sure that none of these teams make a dumb mistake like signing Chandler Parsons over Ivan freaking Rab. All right, so we're done with that, y'all. Let's get straight into the expansion draft. Let me go over to my team. I feel from, from, from what I just did, yo i don't know how many good players are really left but yo they have the first pick and they took Dwayne away all right that's cool with me which young players are here all right bradley's here yontay davis ah there's a whole lot of whole lot of sus right right here man i'm not gonna lie who, who do i take all right i definitely want to take frank i definitely want to take mason this is frank mason third yeah from from kansas i definitely want to take him he is I thought he was a little bit shorter than that, but I think that I'm probably going to take him since Isaiah Thomas is not here. But with our first pick, I think I'm going, yeah, I'm going Tony Bradley. Uh, all right. Now we got our second pick. Who else do I really, really want? We have a center. I'm going to go Timothy Luau, Uh from, because I, I think that he's actually solid. Athleticism is decent. I, I can work on everything else, but we need a young guard and... I mean, how much more, how, how many choices do we really, really have? Dang, I feel like for this first year, this team might just be garbage. They they take Hero and Rudy Gay. I don't know what they're trying to do, but their team, I think they're trying to build it way too fast. All right. Um, all right. We need a power forward, a small forward. And then my point guard, I really want it to be Frank Mason. So let's see what we got. We can get Derrick Jones, the high-flying dunker who he literally can only dunk. And I think with this one, I'm going to be going Deontay Davis from the Grizzlies. Oh, we have another pick. We have a shooting guard, power forward, and center. We need a we need a small forward. Who's out there? Who's out there? This definitely does not be... This is not need to be the small forward of the future, but just someone who, who we can rock with for at least one season, and then we can possibly get, like, Michael Porter or somebody else. You know what? With this pick, I'm going to go CJ Miles. He's not young. But, yo, most of these guys are, like, trash anyways. All right. So, we got a small forward. I'm going to go pick out my point guard. But for right now, uh, Brandon Knight is a hefty deal. I used to like him. I'm, I'm not taking Brandon Knight right now. I, I really don't want to pay him. Like, that's the thing. I think the move for right now is to stockpile on good on better players and then just trade them away and get more assets. So, I'm going Patty Mills with that pick. Hopefully, it wasn't the wrong pick, we, we, but we have another pick here, and who do I want to take? I want to take another young player to come off of the bench, so is Josh Hart still here? All right, Josh Hart is still there. I'm going to pick him up. All right, that's the bet. That's the bet. Check Diallo. What's, I know his, his potential is high. It's an A-, minus, but he's so short. That's like the only thing, but hmm. Let's, let's get, let's get one-year deals. Like, there's, there, like, all, all the young players here have low potential i guess i can take caleb swanigan 
yeah let's take him but the rest of these guys are horrible so right now i'm looking for the one-year deals who who has good one-year deals amir johnson I'm, pro I'm probably gonna trade most of these guys in the, in the first place and probably stockpile on draft picks of course i want this series to be realistic so the more realistic the better but we need help man that's all that i can say about this we have enough big men uh right now i'm looking for small forwards but all those guys are just they're so bad i'm not gonna lie like they're, they're just so bad hopefully i can make a trade and get a nice young player uh whenever i finish up this but man and i think for our backup point guard we're gonna be going trey burke and what else we need a backup small forward right all right let's see if we can find one like like like, like i said hopefully we, we can turn some of these picks into first round or second round picks because i really want to build through next year's draft this year not so much like i don't i don't want him uh geez all right let's get somebody young anybody young wesley i wando you okay uh he's not really like he doesn't excel anywhere maybe in playmaking which i don't really care about bruh you know what i'm gonna I'm swallow up my pride and take trash williams let's take the goat bojan marjanovic we're, we're done we took some l's uh right now there's only there's only two players that can well maybe three who are who are gonna last here and that's probably tony bradley josh hart and maybe timothy luau other than that it's a no for me dog <laughs> but man I, I i don't know that that draft was kind of a nail but of course i don't expect it to like be perfect i do plan on playing a couple of games this season and pretty much just getting to next season as fast as possible so that we don't have to play with with this trash team but the lineup let's see what the lineup's looking like this is the lineup they want, but they got it messed up. We're not doing that. We're, we're not. We're not doing that. And Deontay is starting as well. What are y'all doing? All right. Matter of fact, let me just make a lineup that I because I really want the young guys to, to play the most. Uh, or you know what? CPU fixed it. Let's see if I can move some of these players. All right. So the Kings are offering Willie Colley Stein. All right. I actually don't mind that trade. It's it's not it's not far off course. Slide me Frank Mason. They obviously wouldn't give up Giles Jackson or obviously Fox. So but slide but slide me Mason and y'all can cop yourselves and Amir Johnson. And I will throw in um and Alex Abrines. All right, so we make our first trade of the series. I don't think it's that far fetched. They have a bunch of centers on their team and let's see who else is on the who else is, is on that king's roster yeah they got scout who's actually younger i would have preferred scout i'm not gonna lie uh but i mean it's too late to go back now they have costa kufos they have Papianis. they have so many big men on their team kali san probably won't be missed at all uh, but as far as our team we, we got we got a seven footer with some solid potential and i think that he's gonna work out like i think he's gonna work out great because the king's mod have decided that scout is their future Scott has, Scott has a better potential, and trust me, I probably would have taken Scout over him. I'm not going to lie, but I mean, you know what? It's whatever. We got our new guy. Um, Let's see. We got our new guy. I like. I really like Tony Bradley, but I, I, at least now we have somebody who, without a doubt, he is staying on, on the squad. We got rid of some bad contracts. All right, let me go ahead, up, let me go ahead and fix up this lineup because, like I said, I, I want Frank Mason to play a lot of minutes. I want him to play a lot of minutes, so I'm probably going to invest more in him. So, Trey Burke. Let's see what I can get for Trey Burke and Garrett Temple. And they're offering us a second-round pick and Devin Reed. That's fair enough. All right, I think we're done ma making trades for episode number one. The team is still horrible, but I think that it's definitely something that we can work with. Now, as far as the coaching staff goes, um... Yeah, we need we need we need my coaching staff in, in this thing. All right, uh, I think I'm gonna run. Who do I want to run with here? Kevin McHale is great, but he would not want to take over this team. Now, if we offer somebody like an assistant coach, because obviously there's no player co coaches here, but if we offered an assistant coach, they might be willing to jump on. I'm gonna give him two years to actually make some some happen. If if it doesn't, we might probably move on from him. Scouting is definitely always important, so we need a great scout. 
and yo cuba gooding perfect for the job trainers of course training matters uh let's pick up donald jones to win your deal the gm that's gonna be standing next to me ryan hamilton for your deal and this guy is great for business already but yo i'm gonna go ahead and make the lineup and give me one second two hours later and i think that one last move because this is our lineup it's frank mason timothy luau cj miles deontay davis willie class and i've mentioned you got patty mills tony bradley i know the overalls are all over are all over us but i really want the young guys in the lineup the only old one it is is CJ Miles, but I am gonna hop into free agency. Uh, one more look at the lineup, though. Well, one more look. All right, it's young. Let's see if we can find a good young player in free agency. I'm not gonna go after none of those guys. They they wouldn't really want to sign here. Um, let's see. Who can we use? Briscoe is nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna sign him. It's just a waste of time. All right, what what's all right? What's the deal with Giannis's brother? athleticism is, is about average dang i was i was actually look, looking to sign him but he just didn't cut it all right man we need somebody here though but i think that we're gonna call it that and you know what let's just let's sim to this game versus miami just for us to see what we're going to be going up against. But I think that this was a very successful episode. The team is horrible. I'm probably going to play like one or two games this entire season. And just sim most of it to get to next season where I'm going to play a lot more games. Because next season, I hope that we suck. And that I can potentially pick up Luka Donich or Michael Porter Jr. Those are who I'm looking at. But yo, versus Miami, let's see what it's about. Miami is this bad that they are losing to us. Yeah. Yeah, and, and they're getting cooked. They're getting cooked by us. Frank Mason, 68 overall, 13.5 assists. He's, see, this is why he's starting. CJ Miles and whatever. All right, I'm going to need Kali Stein to do better. He only has four boards. His backup has 12. Bruh. Okay, Um. maybe I can play. I mean, Kali Stein's secondary position is power forward. Maybe we try that out. Maybe we try that out. But other than that, some of our guys are shooting pretty well. But let's just see how we can finish this thing off. Let's see. And we blow them out by 28 points. Okay. <laughs> That's the way that we start up a season. Our leading score was Frank Mason with 16 and 11. Kali Stein with 12, 8, and 3. Bradley with 11 and 13. All right. I've seen what I need to see. Most of these guys shot pretty well, except for CJ Miles, and he's the old guy on the team. Uh, Carlos ended out with 18, with eight boards, and his backup with 13. But I think that we had a pretty successful day. Let me know what we should do in the comment section below. Make sure you go ahead and like up this video. We blew off the Miami Heat by 28 points. Yeah. That's not a good sign when literally we are the worst team in the NBA. But let me know what you guys think about the squad in the comment section below. And let me know in the comment section, first off, which key games should, should we play and which teams should we pick up in the comment section below. I really want to hear what you guys have, have to say about this because I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. Just let your boy know in the comment section below. And make sure you go ahead and like up this video. Like I said, 300 likes for the next one. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys are thinking about the series in the comment section below. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace, y'all.